Anglo-Saxon swords, brooches and helmets never fail to inspire and enchant those who see them. This is a replica of a 7th century brooch discovered in Kingston, Kent. The most impressive hoard ever found was excavated from the barrow at Sutton Hoo. This sword is a replica of one discovered there. You can see the same cloisonne enameling technique as on the brooch. The Saxons liked to carve garnets to fit into cells of gold, with gold foil behind to bring out their luster. The 6th to 7th century site was in use during the reign of King Radwald of the East Angles, and many believe this helmet was his. Like other Anglo-Saxon kings, Radwald claimed to be descended from the one-eyed god Woden. An essay by Neil Price and Paul Mortimer, which I will link to in the description, has argued for evidence of Woden worship in this helmet. They noticed that in the entire Sutton Hoo Horde, there is only one instance where gold foil was not used for the cloisonne garnets. The garnets of the right eyebrow have foil behind, but those on the left eyebrow don't. This was done intentionally, and is particularly noticeable when the garnets catch the light. The only other garnet with no foil on the helmet is the one behind the left eye of the dragon which stretches over the crown. Is this a coincidence? Consider the so-called whetstone scepter also found at Sutton Hoo. This strange object has no practical use and is almost certainly an object of veneration. The stone has eight faces carved on it, which probably represent deities. When preparing this replica, the smith David Roper noticed that one of the eight faces is missing its left eye, which has been struck out. The stone is much too strong for this to be the result of an accident, so the deliberate and time-consuming removal of the eye may have been a part of a ritual related to Woden. In their essay, Price and Mortimer identify a total of 13 artifacts from England, Scandinavia and Germany in which one of the eyes has been deliberately altered. Most of them date to the 6th and 7th century. Is it any wonder that a helmet such as this would be associated with a one-eyed god of war? To the Anglo-Saxons, Woden was present in all things regal and martial. This helmet is both, and may have been worn by a man who believed that Woden lived through his royal blood.